He was going to play Densborough in Smite 2. Densborough is everybody's favorite raccoon in Smite 1, so sure enough he's carrying that title over into Smite 2. Densborough has a fun kit along with a pretty unique passive, and can be played in a couple different roles, but since Smite suggests that he can be played in the jungle, you best believe that is where I am playing him. Let's jump into Danzaburo's abilities. First off, his passive is Dishonest Duplication, and to put it simply, what this passive does is it spawns clones of Danzaburo that will auto-attack enemy gods or minions slash jungle camps for you, and your, your chance of spawning clones scales with the intelligence you build. The one thing to know about these clones is they take a massive increase amount of damage, so they do die relatively easily. But you can spawn a lot of them, so they're still pretty good. Danzaburo's first ability is Ghoul's Gold, now this is the ability I like to unlock first. Upon using it, you roll three money bags that deal damage and these bags will bounce off walls and then they will stop and explode for extra damage. This ability scales both off of strength and intelligence. If you hit an enemy god with it, the bags will stop and then the gods in this circle of damage will be trembled as well. Densborough can also spawn gold coins that can be picked up by yourself or an ally and it provides 10 gold. Densborough's second ability is Alluring Spirits. Densborough will throw out a jug, healing himself and damaging enemy gods, and once hit an enemy god, the bottle starts to tick, and once they've been ticked three times, they are taunted towards the bottle. Densborough's third ability is Tanuki Trickery. Densborough spawns a force around him, gaining movement speed, slow immunity, and the basic attack movement penalty is removed. Also, your chance of spawning your clones is doubled. When you leave the area, you'll disappear and transform into a leaf with a bunch of leaf decoys around you. This can help Danzaburo escape situations, but if you take any damage or auto attack, you will turn back into Danzaburo. As the leaf, you gain increased movement speed, slow immunity, and a buff that causes your next basic attack to deal physical damage, and this scales with intelligence. Danzaburo's ultimate is Uproarious Rocket. Upon using this ability, Danzaburo starts channeling a rocket, and if you reactivate this ability, you will be able to ride in the rocket and control it. If you don't reactivate it, it will just send the rocket forward on a heat-seeking god that is outlined when starting up this ability. Once this is an enemy god, it stuns them, and this ability scales with both strength and intelligence. I've been mainly doing a strength slash auto attack build for Danzaburo, but there's definitely good intelligence builds out there for him. So the items I like to go are Boomba's Cudgel, Devourer's Gauntlet, Dagger of Frenzy, Hasten Vitalis, Kin's Blade, Brawler's Rune, and the Executioner. And our relic is none other than Blink Rune. Make sure you give the legendary Tanuki a try in your next match, because I'm definitely having fun with him right now. 